Haynes. I'm the president of the chamber here in Dawson County. I'm really grateful that all of you took time this evening to come out. Um, we are going to get started in just a minute, but I wanted to go over a few things. A main area of focus of the chamber's Destination 2020 plan, which is the strategic plan that outlines what the chamber plans to do over the next four years, is to continually advocate for our members and be the voice of business for our community. All candidates that qualify for a local office qualified as Republicans. So the upcoming election on May 24th will decide our county leadership for the next four years. As leaders of our business and local community, I urge you to reflect on the impact that business has on our entire community. It is a fair statement that our business community carries the heaviest load in terms of paying for local services and facilities. Of the $26.5 million in annual tax revenue that Dawson County receives, over 72% of taxes are generated by our local businesses and industries. And while many of those taxes generated comes from us when we purchase services and goods, 85% of the goods and services purchased in terms of financial monetary amount are purchased by those outside of Dawson County. So as you can see, business has a major impact on all of us. It is important that the business community gets out and votes in order to make sure that our voice is heard. Our local businesses and industries, from the smallest to the largest, are responsible for generating over $19 million in taxes for our county. This number does not even include the taxes businesses generate for our school system and city. These businesses directly generate the income that pays for our new ambulances, improved park facilities, and even this beautiful school that we are currently using. As a resident of Dawson County, I'm grateful to the business community for carrying this heavy load so that residents do not have to pay the exorbitant property taxes that many of the surrounding counties pay. That being said, it is extremely important that we elect leaders that not only recognize the tremendous impact that our business community has, but also listen and work with the drivers of our local economy to ensure that we remain and even improve our entrepreneurial and business friendly status. This evening, we are fortunate to kick off this time of early voting by hearing from 10 candidates who have given their time and talent to run for local offices for tax commissioner, county commissioner, and county commission chair. And I heard a count a little earlier, I think just over 90 some people voted today in early voting and that doesn't include the absentee ballots, over 100 had come in. So people are voting already, so we're excited that you all made it today and hopefully can help make some decisions. Before we get started, I wanna express my gratitude and our committee's gratitude towards the high school for allowing us to use this space this evening. And also I'd like to thank the Chamber's Advocacy Committee for spending the time to invite the candidates and set up this evening. Um, please note that the Chamber does not endorse a particular party or particular candidates. We have worked diligently to ensure that tonight's forums are fair to the participants and informative to our members and audience. Questions were predetermined by the committee and were taken from questions that were submitted by Chamber members, so we will not be taking questions from the audience this evening. If you are unable to stay for the entire forum or would like to share this forum with your colleagues, the video will be posted to our Chamber's YouTube and Facebook pages. We're hoping by tomorrow, but it will take a little bit of time to edit, so we'll hope to have them up tomorrow or at least by Thursday. So we're gonna get started um, with our tax commissioners in just a second. And just a note to all the candidates, we'll invite you to come up so you don't have to worry about uh, walking up until you're asked. But our tax commission forum, um, you know, we kind of all understand that no one gets excited about paying taxes. I don't think any of us jump up and down to pay sales tax, property tax, you name it, we don't get excited about it. But this office plays an extremely vital role in our community. This office is often the only local office with which every county citizen must interact on an annual basis. Whether you are renewing your car tag or paying your property taxes, this office plays a role in all of our lives. We want to express our gratitude and appreciation to our current tax commissioner, Linda Townley, for her many years of service. As Commissioner Townley has decided to retire, it is time for us to elect a new tax commissioner. 
For this forum, each candidate will receive, or will have three minutes to introduce themselves, two minutes to respond to each question, and two minutes for a closing statement. And we're gonna moderate this Fox News style, so the moderators are gonna be sitting below. Y'all don't have to stare at us the whole time. We want full attention on the candidates. Thank you again for coming this evening.